Hey there, thanks for stopping by. I hope this video finds you well. Today I'm showing the progress on two mushroom supplies grow bags that I put into fruiting conditions on October 5th. If you're anything like me, then you're new to growing mushrooms and you're curious about what to look for in the early days of fruiting. For myself, I found there wasn't a lot out there covering what goes on prior to seeing pins. But what I ended up discovering is that the pre-pinning stage is actually really cool to observe and I wanted to share my experience. So I have some eye candy for you in this video. Here's some video I shot of the bag I'm fruiting in the max yield bin on October 10th, five days into fruiting conditions. What I noticed on this day is that not only had the exposed mycelium gotten denser, but several tiny white pinhead formations had started to come up out of it. For reference, here's the cake on day one next to the cake on day five, so you can see what I'm talking about. I was largely uninformed about this phase of growth, so I commenced digging up some info and images to try and understand it better. Turns out these little guys are called primordia, and some of them will end up becoming pins. During this time, I continued misting the cake a couple of times a day with a flaresol bottle to keep a light layer of moisture on the surface, kind of like a very light dew since you don't want pools of water on the surface or anything like that. I only did this when I noticed that the surface looked dry, so I wasn't just misting it arbitrarily. Fast forward to October 12th, seven days into fruiting conditions, and at this stage, I was noticing that some of the primordia were increasing in size. At this point, I'm getting very excited with the anticipation of seeing pins soon. It's obviously a moment we all look forward to finally getting to, but watching the primordia develop into the pins is also really cool. Now cut to the next day, October 13th, eight days into fruiting conditions, and I now have the first few visible pins on this cake. This is a still image that I took, and as you can see, I've got two cute little pins right there on top. There's also a third pin coming up over on the side, but in this pic, you can also see other primordia that are just about to develop pins. Check them out. It's so cool to see this cake starting to take off at this point. All right, and here's some video from October 15th. We're now 10 days into fruiting conditions and we've got several more pins that have formed, plus even more developing primordia. We're well on our way to getting some fruits from this cake. That's awesome. And I've been really enjoying just watching the mushrooms do their thing. It's so fascinating. So now we check out the other grow bag that I'm trying to just fruit right in the bag. Not really much to report here as it's not showing any significant signs of progress. I ended up cutting the top off this bag so I could mist it from time to time as initially it didn't look to be keeping the right level of humidity. I fan out this tub two to three times a day and I billow the bag when I do. However, here we are 10 days into fruiting conditions and it doesn't even look like the mycelium has gotten much denser. There might be some hyphal nodding that I'm seeing, but I'm not experienced enough to know for sure. The bag still smells just as it should, no sweet or sour odor, just earthy. So who knows? As I mentioned in my previous video, both of these bags were inoculated with the same variety of mushroom genetics, but they were two different multi-spore syringes from two different companies. This bag in particular has really been a slow poke since day one. It, it was slow to colonize compared to the other, so slow fruiting development really doesn't surprise me if the colonization phase was any indication of what the process was going to be like overall. So I'm not giving up on it or anything like that. I'll just be patient since I've seen that sometimes it can take two to three weeks for pins to start forming. So I'll just keep babysitting this one and observing and we'll see what happens. And as I also mentioned in my previous video, I had inoculated a North Spore grain bag and another mushroom supplies grow bag with spores on October 2nd. So here's the update on them. 13 days after inoculation, we have some good mycelium growth that started in the grain bag. The grow bag also has visible mycelium propagating. I'm just gonna leave these guys be so they can continue doing their thing. All right, that's it. I hope you've enjoyed this little update. 
If you want to check out my previous video, I've linked it in the description. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you doing that. And until next time, be well.